Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, we're here in Setsu Castle. The center of economy in Japan. Now, uh, remember where I said I was going to rearrange Tenkai's items so that the multiplayer would be on the top? Well, the game doesn't really offer any particularly convenient way to do that. The only way you can really do it is through the pawn shop. Now, I don't believe I explained the pawn shop that's here in Setsu yet, so we're going to go through this distinctive white door. And welcome to the pawn shop. Okay. The idea of the pawn shop is simple, of course. You give, you can put items or gold in his care. So, this, this is also the bank. But we will... I will demonstrate by putting some of Tenkai's things in there. Like... Beringia. Yeah. And the body healer. And, and other things like that. And, I might, and yes, let's put in the... The multiplayer. Now, say I... Now, let's take something out. I like to retrieve items. Take the multi-blade. And you have to and you have to uh, repay the amount they initially paid you. So basically if you pay if he paid you five thousand gold for something, and once you go go back to get it, you just have to pay that back. To get your item back. Okay? Fairly simple, yes? Okay, so right now I'm gonna freeze the recording and I gotta Basically what I have to do is I have to give this guy all of Tenkai's inventory. And then I have to start and then I have to take it, take it all back. But I will but, th but I will take out the multiplayer first so it appears on the top of Tenkai's item list. So with that said, I am going to now pause the recording and I'm going to go through this extremely tedious process. Man, damn you Koei for not including an easy to use rearranging system for your inventory. I'll be right back. Finally finished. Okay, so show you Tenkai's item list. Now, since the since the items you have actually equipped always appear at the top of your item list, the multi the items you're not don't have equipped will always be after that. But at least now the multi is on the first screen, so at least we're not scrolling all the way to the bottom of the damn inventory anymore just to try to use it in combat. Okay, with that dealt with. We are about to go on the game's final side quest. And let's go to Aki. Okay, so we go south around the mountains from Aki, and then what and then west. And we will end, end up at a little village called Yamaguchi. Go past the ports and we're going to stop in the village, because I think we actually could use some healing. Yes, we can. So we're going to stop in the stop in the inn. There we go. All better now. Probably a good idea to save before we go into the cave. That's what we're after, folks. The Kunzanagi Sword. Kunzanagi. Okay, yeah, she's a bimbo. She's a she's a bimbo and a whore and everything else. Okay. Okay, yes, this actually brings up a good point. The Kunzanagi is only equipable by the warrior class of of characters, which which includes samurai, ronin, and swordsmen. So it's one of the strongest weapons in the game, but only a certain class can equip it. Now, it's not entirely useless to anybody without a warrior, because it can also cast Burn at any time, as many times as you like. So, regarding whether or not you want to get the Kunzanagi, if you have a warrior type in your party, definitely get it. If not, well, make your own choice. Okay, so, let's go in here. And welcome everybody to Dan Moore Cave. We're going this way, we're going this way because every there's a lot of places to go on this first floor, but they're all dead ends with absolutely nothing in them. Okay, these giant crowds you see right now. 
They have, they have extremely high defense, they're pretty much immune to magic, they do big damage, and, well, quite frankly, I'm not going to bother wasting time during that recording to actually try to kill them. It's a pain in the ass. So let's go down the, go down the stairs. Basically, you're relying on critical hits to kill those things. You know what? There's just one here. Let me, sh let me demonstrate to you. Two damage. Two damage. Ten damage. See, I'll use the multiplayer on him. And he doesn't do anything to him. So, yes, we're, we're, we're relying c completely on critical hits to get by. Now, if you don't mind using the extra, extra magic points... I think I may as well just defend. Well, actually. Can we put to sleep? Nah, didn't think so. If you don't mind using the extra magic, you can you can always try to put super on yourself. And you and you go that nice golden color. You're a super ninja! It's Super Saiyan Ninja Time! With In and Do, I have the ninja, and Ryu! The Super Ninja. Okay, so we'll try it with this one. See? Oh yeah. And the experience isn't even worth it. Really. I mean, there's lots of other easier enemies in here that give lots more experience. And don't and don't basically require you to cast a spell that costs you 60 mana to use. What exactly the super spell does is that it gives you extremely high attack, extremely high defense, but it completely destroys your ability to cast magic. Okay, so we'll get, we'll see if we can't deal with these somewhat easier guys. And that's a very good way to start. Ow! Okay, Hanzo, slice and dice. Tenkai, use that multi-blade. We are going to abuse this thing, folks. Thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-nine. Oh, damn it! Phew! Nobody got hurt by it. Got hit by that spell, thank God. Of course, it it, it, it inflicts dizzy, which is this game's equivalent of confusion. So you know it's not a nice thing to get hit with. Stop touching me! Uh, I think I better use heal two on tank guy. Just to be safe. Okay guys, you know what? I'm gonna pause the recording and I'm just gonna fast forward to the end of the battle. Okay everybody, that got me about that got me 2470 experience points. On average, that's about 820 for monsters, so better than better than the giant class we were trying to deal with just a second ago. Okay, I better use Body Healer on Ryu. How's Hanzo holding up? Eh, I better cast a heal spell on him. Don't try to follow the logic, folks. Just, just handle it. Alright, let's go around this way. Up here, we have... Yay, it's another lion tail! Okay. So we'll give that thing over to Hanzo, because I think Ryu is the one who has that. Yep. And we'll give that to Hanzo. Hanzo, you can equip your brand new trophy. Don't know how Lion's Tail is supposed to give you that much more defense, but I'm not going to argue. Okay. Down this way. Still got, still got about another minute to, to play here, so... Oh, we got Boat Crime. Oh my! That—that's not good. 
I think we're going to make it beat a hasty retreat a little bit. Not taking any chances here, guys. Thank you. But yeah, this will definitely be a good place to level grind when we... Um, after we beat this dungeon. Anyways, I think I'm going to cut the video off here, guys. And when we come back, we're going to finish this dungeon. We're going to get ourselves a brand new sword. And probably we're not going to be able to use it, but still, it's a brand new sword. So, anyways, I'll, um, yeah, I'll catch you later.